Just you know, just a little bit because it's a steep hazard, and I'm thinking like that's it. Good luck for everyone. Thank Good luck. Okay. Right, morning, everyone. Um, so I'm just trying to see where everybody is. Um, yeah, I'm on a group dig today. Uh, Peter Pesty, uh, along with Heart of England Metal Detecting Club, um, in Cambridgeshire. Got about 65 acres of stubble to go at. Loads of Roman history around here, so I'm hoping for Roman. I've had three hammers in the last week, so I think I've had enough hammers for a while. I'm gonna have some Romans today, I think. That'd be nice. Right, so I'll see you on the first decent target, guys. So, right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, look at this. I've had a couple of signals, shotgun, cartridge, and a few other little bits, but look at this, I think I've got a coin. I don't know, that looks, it could be silver. No, I don't think it is, actually. I think that's a coin. Could that be a Roman? I'm not sure. And that could be a little silver... Is that a Roman? I don't know. Right, I'm going to try and get that cleaned up guys and I'll come back to you in a sec. It's got a little bit of weight to it though. Alright, back in a sec. Alright guys, look at that. That is beautiful. Shame it's been clipped by the plough but... Oh my god. I can't believe it, I'm like 20 minutes in and I just found that straight away. Oh my God. That is brilliant. Right, I'm gonna work this area a little bit and see what else is around here. But it's good, this is supposed to be like a 12 hour dig, so I found that in the first 20 minutes. And we'll see what happens. Right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Alright, uh, there's the next one guys, I'm not sure what it is, I think it might be like a little trade weight or something, some sort of weight, it's quite heavy, got some sort of detail on there, I'll see if I can get it cleaned up a bit in a minute, but yeah, it's pretty cool, I don't really care what I find now, though. I've just found a silver Roman, so it's a nice relaxing dig for me now, all the pressure's off, alright, I'll see you on the next one. Alright, uh, there's the next one guys, little musket ball, um, yeah, this is a bad hit to be honest, little musket ball. Not much else come up for the last sort of 20 minutes or so, been a bit quiet, but it's all good. All right, see what else we find. All right, guys, next one, this button. Yeah, quite a nice little button. Don't know what sort of button it is. It's military, some sort of type, but I wouldn't have a clue. But yeah, it's quite nice detail on it for a change. I don't really film buttons anymore unless they've got detail on them. So, yeah. Nice. Right, see you on the next one. All right, there you go, guys. There's a second coin of the day. Little penny, George V, I think it is. Nothing too spectacular. What's that? 1920 is at the bottom there. Yeah, cool. All right, still a coin. See you on the next one. All right, look at this, everyone. I'm just speaking to Lee, who I come here with, and he might have just found a little Roman dice. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure, <laughs> sure-ish. But yeah, there's no, there's no detail left on it. Considering we're on very Roman land, very good chance that's Roman. So that's cool. All right, well done, Lee. All right, guys, finally got another signal. It's been quite a while since I've had a decent one, but look at that. Got another little coin, I think. What's that? Yeah, that looks silver. Nice oh, little George. Sixpence. Yeah, I think it's a sixpence. Isn't it? Ooh, still a coin. Was that 1945? Is it? Yeah, a little 1945 one. Lovely. Ah, oh, it's a one shilling. That's it. Not sixpence. Sorry. Yeah, one shilling. Cool. Maybe not full silver, but 
silver colour to it. That's cool. All right, let's see the next one. Here's the next one, guys. Not sure what it is, but it looks quite nice. Got some nice detail on there. Nothing on the other side. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's like part of a buckle or strap end or something like that. I'm not sure. That's pretty cool. Haven't had much for ages, to be honest. I'm probably going to stay about another hour and see, see what happens and we might head home. But yeah, right, see you on the next one.